Today I show you the observation results from August 2023 with Dwarf 2. I start with the North American Nebula NGC 7000. This object is very suitable for Dwarf 2 because of the magnification. Here the fog fits very nicely into the picture. Colorful artifacts from Dwarf 2 can also be seen. The Dumbbell Nebula M27 follows. This object can be photographed well because it shines very brightly. But here again you can see these colorful artifacts that are generated by the Dwarf 2. Because of the rotation, which Dwarf 2 does not compensate for, I took a total of three recordings of 30 minutes each from the Pinwheel Galaxy M101. I then stacked them to see what the results would be like. Unfortunately, the picture of the Pinwheel Galaxy didn't turn out that well. Again, the colorful artifacts can be seen. I didn't remove them to show you. It continues with M81 and M82, the Sigar and Bodus galaxy. For your information, I want to take the finished picture from an automatic telescope and not merge hundred of individual pictures somehow. The result has gotten better as you can see. With the Dwarf 2 it's nice because you can show several larger galaxies in one picture. Andromeda, the galaxy M31, is huge. It is therefore also a good object for Dwarf 2. Using the same technique, taking three pictures of 20 to 30 minutes, stacking them and processing them. And here is the result. I think the Andromeda galaxy can be represented very well. But here again there are colorful artifacts from Dwarf 2. And that's the end for today. See you next time.